What is up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fluff Hammer. So today um, I'm going to be doing a swamp base tutorial. I've had quite a few people ask me about these so I thought I'd give it a crack and see what I could come up with. Um, here I'm just going to show you some basic materials that I'm going to be using, some cork, uh, super glue and then some 3D printed thorns and stuff like that. I'm going to start off with a base of cork. Um, this is going to be for the uh, new Nurgle Sorcerer. So um, laying down the cork and just making sure it fits. The base I'm using here is a hollow base from Green Stuff Wild. So you can either order them uh, directly um, or I think they do sell them directly through eBay as well here in the UK. Uh, obviously, I think they are based in Spain, so if you're in Europe, you could probably get it get it direct. And then the little thorns I'm using are from EpicBasing.com. I believe they're like America, Canada, somewhere like that. And then I'm going to be using a Highland Tuft from Warlord Games. And then I have this uh, grass stuff here, which I'm just cutting into tiny little sections to make more of a, a long grass tuft. You could just alternatively just buy these in long grass tufts. You'll just have to see, you know, what kind of suits you better. Uh, I didn't have any long grass tufts, so I just made my own by cutting these up. And I'm just assembling the base how I want it laid out, basically. Uh, I've used the cork in the middle to mount the model, to keep the model up and out of the swamp base texture. And then, yeah, just obviously use the recessed base. Some people do flip the bases upside down of the Games Workshop ones, but you obviously you lose that beveled angle um, in at the top. So I just chose to buy these ones. There are a number of places you can buy them 3D printed or cast on eBay, whatever. Uh, next up, I just hit it with some black uh, primer from Vallejo through the airbrush. Um, and then I'm using Eschen Grey and adding, um, I think it's Grey Seer, just dry brushing over the the cork tile to, to give it a kind of rock effect and then we're going to go in with the airbrush and shoot the base with uh, Caliban green not worrying too much if any gets on the rock because obviously as the swamp comes up the side of the rock we're going to want a green effect anyway we're then going into the aptly named sick green and we're just aiming to highlight the green base coat with that and then I'm just going to go the route of just adding uh, Vallejo Game Air Dead White into this mix. Um, I did hold up a few other paints there where you can, if you want a more saturated, go through the kind of um, warpstone glow, moot green kind of look. I've just gone for a bit more of a subtle, kind of closer to realistic look with mine. Next up, I ripped the Highland Tuft off and replaced it with uh, a fresh one. I didn't like it how the green on the tuft was identical to the green on the base and I wanted it a, a bit more varied so I went back to the Highland Tuft and as you can see the kind of orangey brown tuft takes away from the green lot and it, I think it adds a lot to the um, base visually rather than having it all the same colour. Um, next up I'm going to go in with Plague Bearer Flesh and wash over all of that, the Games Workshop uh, contrast. And then I'm going to dip into snakebite leather and I'm just going to randomly do some blobs and patches. Um, when you look into swamps and stuff like that, obviously they're never all like a set tone. There's, you know, shades of, of brown and green and everything in there. So I'm just blobbing some of that around, not a huge amount. Next up, I'm going to get a couple of these little glass nail beads. They came from eBay um, for a couple of quid. And some UV resin, again from Green Stuff Wild. Going to use a um, just a stainless steel rod here to push the resin all around into the gaps, and then I'm going to just add a couple of drops of plague bearer flesh, mixing with that. Um, the glass beads are going in, which will be acting like bubbles in the swamp, and then I'm going to set that with the UV torch. Um, the thing when you add contrast paint to this UV resin, a lot of the times it doesn't like fully cure. So what I did then was do another layer of the Plague Bearer Flesh over top. And then we will do another top layer, as you can see now, of just pure UV resin, which will cure a lot better um, because it's not obviously mixed up with the um, contrast paint. Um, I'm adding some more of those little tuft, like long tuft bits that I cut earlier. Once again, to give it a bit more variation, 
the long grass tufts are now going to be like mixed together so they aren't all just monotone um, like I said I was just going for a bit more of a realistic kind of look to the whole base so I wanted different shades of long tufts I want different shades of grass everything like that and as you can see I'm basically trying to fill in now the base with the UV resin right to the top of the rim so it joins all the way around and then I'm just going to keep adding the long grass and I'm going to be using these little needle nose plastic pliers to just straighten them up or angle them however I see fit as I'm setting the resin because um, once this stuff's kind of gone off you're um, unable to really make too much change so just make sure it is where you want it as you set it next up I'm going to be going back in and redefining some of the rock I know it might seem a weird way of doing it but I want to have undertones of the green and stuff inside the rock um, but I obviously want it to look a bit rockier than it, it was looking there so I've gone back in with the grey as you can see leaving some green in the recesses uh, this is the same mix as before the uh, eshing grey and then highlighting by adding grey sear and then just yeah doing a few little edge highlights and some textures then I'm going to be doing some selective Agrax Earthshade wash all over the rock just to again just give it a bit more visual interest to give it a bit more of a kind of tones and everything the next stage is going to be blacking out the base room I'm very big advocate of black base rooms if you look at any of my models um, they're almost all black in fact they are all black base roomed I just find it adds a nice layer of contrast to the model and I think it's just a nice smooth um, finish for the base rooms next up I'm going to grab some Balor Brown and I'm going to be diluting this. Um, I'd kind of pretty much finished the project here and I'd put all my wet palette and everything away. So I'm just using my fingernail to create just a very thin kind of wash glaze consistency. And I'm just going to dab this in some of the, the deepest recesses on the rock just to give it a bit more of a kind of sickly look. I really like it how the ochre tone contrasts a lot with the, the green. As you can see there, it's a very dilute mix and again it's just all about adding a little bit more kind of visual um, impact rather than just having grey rock and green swamp we're trying to blend the two together using ochre tones and greens uh, as well as as the greys and the the normal kind of swamp colours and I think it helps it match in with the tufts and the bits of grass we've done as well it will dry up really really light and here we have the finished base so I hope you really like the effect that we've managed to get here. It's something I've not done a huge amount of swamp basing, but if I was to be doing this for an army, this is exactly how I would tackle it. You can obviously variate the... Uh, variate, is that a word? You can use variation by changing the different kind of rocks that you use. You could use pieces of slate. I prefer cork, personally, just because you can pin to it, which I find keeps the model on it much better. If you're going to be using the army for um, gaming and stuff instead of just using it for display um, but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if there's anything you want um, to see me do please drop a comment below please do all the good stuff like subscribe share all that kind of stuff i will be linking my element games affiliate link down in the description of the video um, if you buy your models toys whatever through that link um, that will give me a little bit of a kickback and help me directly which would be really cool of you all um, i know that they do have the yeah green stuff world uv resin the highland tufts the all the paints that i've used and they do have um, hollow base blanks on the website as well so pretty much everything you need to recreate this base you can get from element games other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.